Hey, let's create a silk texture with embroidery. To begin with add a plane on which we will be working on the texture. Split the screen so that we can work on the shader editor and the viewport at the same time. Change the view mode from object view to render view. Add a new material to the plane. Add the image texture which serves as the pattern for the embroidery. Add a color ramp and adjust the slider for the black and white values to increase the texture contrast and enhance the design. Bring the black and white sliders closer to do so. Now we will be adding a noise texture. This noise texture will be used to create a thread-like texture for the embroidery. Add mapping node to the texture. Scale the noise texture along any one axis to make it look like threads in an embroidery. Let us add a bump node to add depth for the threads. Add the factor output of the texture to the height input of the bump node. Connect the bump node to the shader output to view it. Now that we have made the texture for the embroidery, let us make the texture for the silk material. We start by making a copy of the principal BSDF. Add a mix shader node to merge the silk texture and embroidery texture. We will be using the image for the embroidery as a factor input for the mix shader to separate the silk material and the embroidery. Add the embroidery texture to the second mix shader input and the silk texture to the first input. Connect the bump node in the embroidery to the principal BSDF. Add a new bump node and connect the normal output of bump node for the noise texture to the height input of the new bump node which connects to the normal input of the principal BSDF. Connect the embroidery design to the height input of the bump node to make the embroidery look slightly raised.
I have also added a math node with multiply selected to further increase the height. Increase the metallic value and reduce the roughness for the principal BSDF and the embroidery, this will give a shiny look to the threads. Now to make the silk texture, we will be adding image textures for metallic value. another texture for the roughness. Lastly add a bump node with a normal map. Change the base color to the required color. Add a mix node to the embroidery to give a lighter and darker color for the threads and separate them based on the noise texture using it as a factor input.
you can now add the texture to the desired cloth material.